Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are around the world. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Thrustmaster T16000M. Doesn't matter what variant it is, the process is the same. Now to set it up, we need to install the drivers. Make sure your Thrustmaster is unplugged for now. We're going to plug it in after we've installed the drivers. So, go to joysticks on the Thrustmaster support website, support.thrustmaster.com. I'll leave a link to the description below. And then you want to click on the relevant one. For me, it's going to be the HOTAS. That's the one I have. If you have any of the others, click the designated one. And you want to go to the drivers tab. You want to open that up and you want to hit the download button. I'm not going to do that for now because I've already done this. I've had this installed for a quite a while. So just install the driver like you normally do anything else. I recommend restarting your computer after it's installed just so your computer can actually apply that update, apply those drivers. Once you've restarted, you want to plug in your Thrustmaster. Now, to check that it's plugged in, properly working, first of all, you can touch your, uh, move your joystick a little bit and it will glow orange. That's basically saying it's got power. Also, if you type in USB in the Windows search bar, it's got set up USB game controllers. That's what you want to click on. It'll give you a list of what's connected. And I'm gonna double click on the joystick first. And I'm just going to try a couple of controls. I recommend, as you can see, they're all working. I recommend going through every single axis, every single button that you can access and just test that every single one works. If that's all good, you're good to go. I'm going to do the same throttle. It's all working. Brilliant. And that's it. You're all set up. Now, there is software that you can download the target software. I don't use the target software because it's been very buggy. It's just, it's just useless, let's be honest. What the software actually does is it's meant to combine both of these devices. So Windows sees them as one singular device to make it a bit easier. However, I've been working just fine for a, quite a while with Star Citizen with it working without. Because you don't actually need it to work with your computer. All you need is to install the drivers, which we've already done because it just doesn't work half the time when it's broken. So that's everything set up. And that concludes how to set up the Thruster Master T16000M. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it helpful, and like to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed. Give me a comment. If it did help, if you're having any issues, let me know. I will do my utmost best. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.